Um, our, our final speaker is Luke Cox, the Chief Executive Officer of Green Technology Metals. Alrighty, so I'll try and keep this uh, short and sweet, but to the point. So, Green Technology Metals, probably uh, best to call us GT1, because there's other, there's other companies out there got very similar names. So, GT1, we'll go with that going forwards. So I just want to start off with this slide first. Uh, these are the gigafactories that are going up in North America. Now, every time I, I look at a map, there's another gigafactory being put into either in the US or Canada. And I'm like, there's actually, there's something missing here. Who's going to supply the lithium that goes into these gigafactories? So I sort of spoke to our brokers uh, and our analysts. And I said, well, well who's, who's actually creating lithium carbonate or hydroxide in the whole of North America? And we couldn't come up with one name. Well, well where is it coming from? Who's supplying all of these companies? It's, it's coming from China. And I think that's what's kicked off a bit of a movement in North America. Everyone's going, oh, hold up. Well, what do we do now? We're going to have to create our own domestic supply. And then obviously uh, all the politicians have jumped on board. They're, they're throwing money around like it's going out of fashion. Um, first of all, the Canadian government, there's $2 billion for a, a mineral strategy for EV batteries. Uh, and then Ontario have jumped on board. They said, look, we want a piece of this pie. Uh, we're going to throw some money in there as well. Uh, just down at the bottom right, there's, there's Doug Ford. He's the premier of Ontario. Now, it was about two weeks ago, my guys were in uh, Thunder Bay, which is a, a mining town. They actually caught up with Doug uh, and had a chat about, look, we, we're ready to go. You just need to fast track our permits. So Doug introduced us to, to the, the mining minister. I said, look, have a chat to this guy. Uh, let's see what we can do. So they are dead keen to kick this off. Uh, and it's just, uh, I mean, even the US, you got Biden, he's got the critical mineral strategy, same thing. He's like, come on guys, you've got to kick off this, uh, this lithium mining game as quick as you can, because we need to get domestic supply. So roll in GT1, right? So what we've put together, we're only, what, geez, three, four months old. Uh, we've already put together the flagship project, which is Seymour. We've, got a, uh, we've already got a jork resource on there and we've doing, been doing some significant drilling and come up with some great results. Got a really good team, which we'll talk about, not only at the board, but operations guys on the ground. Uh, we're gonna go all the way. So this is mining, go into a concentrate, and then we've been asked by the Canadian government, they need that vertical integration. They're asking us to get a, a hydroxide plant into Thunder Bay. Now, one thing we can do there, uh, not only we get the, the, the lithium, we can go green, clean lithium. Now, that's something we can talk about that's uh, quite specific to Canada. They've got a fair bit of water up there and they've got a fair bit of hydro. And then there's projects. We've got a whole suite of projects which we'll go through. So we're not looking to go for 100 million tonnes with a 100-year mine life. We just want to get into production as quick as we can. Now, I, I've got a history as a, a mine manager. I know what it takes to get an operation up from exploration all the way into development. Uh, I worked on the Wajina project, uh, which is uh, lithium in uh, Western Australia. Uh, I know how to mine these deposits. Uh, and at Seymour, we've got 4.8 million tonnes. We've already drilled this out. We know we've got enough tonnes there now. So we've already uh, gone from a exploration lease and we're applying for the mining lease. Um, behind that, we've got a pipeline. We've got Root, Weezer and Allison. Within those projects, there's numerous sub-projects and they all have lithium bearing pegmatites. So the team. So at the chair, I've got John Young. John Young, he founded Pilbara Minerals. So if you imagine a pipeline, John's helped me along that way from the exploration and mining side. Right behind John, also on the board, Cameron Henry. He founded Primero. Primero build, construct, and operate lithium processing plants. And then behind Cam, I got Pat. So Pat funds 
mining projects. So I've got mining, processing, and finance on my board. Behind that team, you've got myself, I'm a mine manager. I'll be going in there, we're kicking this off operation off. I've got Matt Herbert, he's a West Australian from Perth. He's uh, now moved over to Thunder Bay. He's living there permanently. Uh, he's my GM of operations. He's the one setting up the business in Ontario, Canada. Andrea, she's my ESG, but really she's doing all of our approvals. She's done an absolutely great job of working all the government departments. We've already kicked off all our baseline studies. We've already done the winter studies. So that means flying out in choppers, looking for endangered species, which we don't have. We've just uh, done that in our summer uh, winter program. We're doing groundwater, subwater. We're doing acid mine drainage. All the studies you need to do to go into fast track mining. Uh, we employed Nathan Sims. He's a local uh, exploration manager to Thunder Bay. So he's out. He's been instrumental in getting the drill rigs on the ground. We've got two rigs up there now. We've already built a camp. Uh, so that's a 24 man camp. So we're ramping up for the summer season. So flagship. We, we've only just uh, touched the surface here. So all we've done, we've tapped uh, North Albury. Even there, we've got enough to kick off GT1 into operations. So we're quite happy with that. We've got Central, South Albury and Pi. They're all within uh, one and a half Ks of where we're looking to put a processing plant. So that'll be a concentrator. Now, all those red dots, they're all pegmatites. That's our summer season. We're going to go hard. Uh, we've already bought the quad bikes. We've got the skidoos. Uh, we've purchased uh, drones. So what we'll do, we'll fly over the top. We'll create a 3D map of the area. Uh, that will go onto an iPad or a, a tough tablet. And then we pick up where the, where the pegmatites are. We then drive in. We're using a PXRF, portable XRF machine to zap the rocks to confirm there's lithium. And then we use now Raman. So Raman's a portable piece of equipment which will then determine what spodumin or what crystal type you have. So we can quickly go through all of these red dots and say, yep, yeah, this is LCP pegmatite or this is not. So that's really ramping up our pipeline at Seymour. Now the first deposit we drilled, this is just one of them, North Albury. So uh, just there, that's 250 meters wide, 700 meters long, <clears throat> uh, and around 40 meters thick in the center. So that's just one fat slab of LCT lithium bearing pegmatite. Now just, just there alone, that's us, we're ready to go. Now one thing from mining, I know that pegmatites come as swarms uh, and become, can become quite an issue for mining. Whereas in our case, it's one slab. We're not gonna get uh, any internal dilution. Uh, when we're mining this thing, the pegmatite is white, the waste is black. So mining is gonna be uh, it's cream, cream digging. And then just take a step out, pie. We've already started drilling there. We've already started to hit the pegmatites again. So this will be the, the plus 10 year dirt that we'll be bringing into the processing plant. So as I say, we've only been running a few months now. Uh, already got our First Nation exploration agreements in place. Already kicked off the baseline studies, we've already kicked off drilling. Uh, and also, also we've gone from 51% 50, to 80% ownership of all these projects. There's probably just a couple of pictures on there. So top right, uh, there's our geologists uh, looking at the pegmatite that we just drilled. Um, bottom right, that's Andrea. They're doing the, the water studies. So you have to do two years of water studies. So we've already done the winter water studies. Uh, and then we'll go for a summer, another winter, and another summer, and then we're away. Um, we've already kicked off the metallurgical studies. So there was a bulk sample taken at North Albury. That's the digger at the top. Uh, that was then converted to an SC6 concentrate. So that's the stuff uh, that we sell on the market. So when I started with GT1, the price was around $650 a tonne. Uh, benchmark minerals have now quoted knocking $5,000 a tonne. So you can see lithium's going through the roof at the moment. We've then taken that SC6 concentrate and we've converted it into a carbonate. So we can know we can get into battery grade. We was working with IMO. We're going to go back to IMO and continue those studies to go us into, the, into feasibility. As I say, we're going to go all the way. 
We're going to start off with Seymour, we'll concentrate and then go into lithium hydroxide. And that's going to be all within Ontario. Look, when I worked, at, uh, when I worked in WA, we were mining in WA, we were shipping it to the port just as spodumene, not even a concentrate. We were sending it up to China. These are significant distances that we're moving materials around the world just to get to a lithium hydroxide. We can do this all within Ontario. Yep, we've already started uh, optioning ground at Thunder Bay, so this will be for the hydroxide plant. Uh, Thunder Bay used to be a paper mill industry. Uh, when everyone went digital, we all took iPads and uh, iPhones. No one's buying paper anymore, so the paper industry died in Thunder Bay, and the government are pushing to become the preeminent producer of lithium chemicals in Ontario and Canada. So that's why they're pushing us so hard to get up and running. I mean, when we talk about ESG and going green, well, there's not much we have to do because the only power that's going to be supplied to us is green. So in 2022, the European Union uh, put forward a taxonomy where they talked about what they would consider green for investment. <clears throat> and there's your, your, your normal uh, green power, which is your hydro, you've got your wind and your solar, but they also included nuclear. So if you had uh, uh, banks in Europe or around the world, they can invest in Ontario because we've got the green power. Uh, and once again, look, we haven't got into any offtake agreements just yet. We don't need to. There's, there's so many plants and gigafactories building up in Ontario. And on that border, the US and the Canadian border, I think the US are having a few issues getting a few of their mines up and running. They're looking to, to Canada now to get up and running uh, quicker than what they can. Uh, we've had Stellantis. They're building a gigafactory. There'll be talks there pretty soon. And then just talking about the pipeline, we've got um, Root. There's a historical estimate there. We've gone in, we've done some resource modeling. We believe there's way more. We're going to go in the rigs uh, in about a month's time and we'll start drilling this out. But as I say, this will be the plus 10 year dirt that we'll go into processing. We've just picked up what the Geological Survey of Ontario believe is the most prospective area in Ontario. So this is called Allison. We went hard, we pegged all the tenements that were available. We then did option agreements with the other tenement holders. So now we've picked up Allison. So that's going to be a massive exploration area for us. Weezer, once again, LCT pegmatites. We're, we're not exploring for these. We've already got them. We just need to drill them out. And there's our tenement package. We're up to 40,000 hectares now. So we've got a big job ahead of us. But as I say, Seymour, then we can hit all these other projects over time. And there's our program. So we've got pretty much got the next two years and then we'll be into production. We'll be digging um, spodumene, that will go into a concentrate. Uh, and then we'll be looking at the hydroxide plant. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's been a whirlwind journey. Um, we've got all the ingredients there to become a fully integrated lithium producer in Ontario. Uh, one of the catchphrases we decided to use was the lithosphere. So it's lithium, Ontario, and the, and the sphere is North America. And this is a, a market that's gaining speed at a rapid rate of knots. So yeah, thank you. Uh, watch this space on GT1.